So today I'm going to be doing some field observations. One of the areas that we're also looking at is the city of Roseau. So I have all my maps that I've previously printed and everything that I'm ready to like sketch what I see and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm going to head there. So if we look here, this is one major form of resilience. That is the new river wall. The river was dredged, so we have a much deeper river bed happening here, um, which makes basically the threshold or the amount of water that you need to flood and overflow the banks it becomes much higher. So, and then this side also has a river wall. Today's Wednesday. We're kind of gonna do a continued day in the life because yesterday my phone died. I'm gonna get a car charger before I go out onto the field today. I'm now headed into town today. I'm actually gonna pick up my field assistant, a university student. She's doing like the same field like me um, and she's pretty much going to be interning with me. I'm gonna pick her up and then we're gonna head out. Today I'm going to Pied de Savan. I'm headed now and then I will keep you guys. Guys, so we've just arrived to Pied de Savan. This is my field assistant in the back, Aaliyah. And first of all, it was quite a journey because number <laughs> one, we were doing it in a car, but we just parked there. And now we're gonna do a little bit of sight observations on foot. Map sketching and interviews and stuff like that. Oh my god. That's so interesting. different people and very successful interviews got a lot of information and stuff like that obviously for privacy purposes I'm not going to you know put anyone on camera unless they want to be on camera or anything like that um, but very thorough just really understanding the the perspective of the villages of Piti Savan you know some of them most of them have actually um, they have apartments or homes in the relocation settlement so you know getting their views on what that is like you know moving and all of these things a lot of the people some of the people like some of the guys that we just finished speaking to they are working in the bay oil um, industry and in the rum industry so we'll show you their factory in a little bit now we're just looking at the like terrain you know all these steep slopes that are around this and then this little stream but just looking at all where these massive rocks are gives you an indication of when that river starts to flood and come down what sort of damage it can do all here and go down in the valley
a view. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll be all excited to realize how much I just love sea views. I'm a water baby. I don't know what was here before, but this whole thing's broken. Well, this is definitely a big major of interest because as you can see, all these rocks in this river have really been causing a problem before. Okay, drone training day number two. Here with some of our interns, my field assistant Aliyah, and of course Andrew, some females. We have two drones. So this is the mini, and then we have the other one in the car, the Maverick by TGI. So we're just setting up. I'm gonna do see if we can do a little lights and take off and stuff. This is in preparation for when Aaliyah and I will be on the field. <laughs> the controller has to go on and then turn on the drone because you always want to make sure you have enough control. You have enough control. You have control over the drone. The app will give you directions of what to do, how to connect the drone. Just a few clicks. And we stand behind the drone before I take off to give it. This is our other baby. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> 